Hi everyone, welcome to On Point, today we are going to discuss about water bath, so without any delay, let's start the video. Water bath. A water bath is a lab constant temperature equipment, providing heat source, for varieties of devices, that need heating. The circulating water bath, is used to keep water, at a constant temperature for incubating samples, in a laboratory. Uses A laboratory water bath is used to heat samples, some applications include maintaining cell lines, or heating flammable chemicals, that might combust if exposed to open flame. A water bath generally consists of, a heating unit, a stainless steel chamber that holds the water and samples and a control interface. Different types of water baths, offer additional functionality such as, a circulating water bath that keep, a more even temperature, or a shaking water bath, that keeps the samples in motion while they are heated. What is to be considered when choosing a water bath? Things to consider include the bath's temperature range, capacity, whether there is a cooling option, how easy it is to clean, and whether it is a shaking or circulating water bath. Types of water bath Circulating water baths, also called stirrers, are ideal for applications, when temperature uniformity and consistency are critical, such as enzymatic and serologic experiments. Water is thoroughly circulated throughout the bath, resulting in a more uniform temperature. Non-circulating water baths. This type of water bath relies primarily on convection instead of water being uniformly heated. Therefore, it is less accurate in terms of temperature control. In addition, there are add-ons that provide stirring to non-circulating water baths to create more uniform heat transfer. Shaking water baths. This type of water bath has extra control for shaking, which moves liquids around. This shaking feature can be turned on or off. In microbiological practices, constant shaking allows liquid-grown cell cultures grown to constantly mix with the air. Some key benefits of shaking water bath are user-friendly operation via keypad, convenient bath drains, adjustable shaking frequencies, bright LED display, optional lift-up bath cover, power switch integrated in keypad and warning and cut off protection for low or high temperature working principle the sensor transfer water temperature to resistance value amplified and compared by integrated amplifier then output the control signal efficiently control the average heating power of electric heating tube and maintain water in constant temperature when you require balanced high temperature heating that, water bath is a good choice. Operating the water bath. 1. Connect the power supply. 2. Ensure the water level in water bath, is sufficient to pour the heating element. 3. Switch on the main power supply, and instrument mains. 4. For temperature settings, press set key to set the required temperature. Press upward arrow to increase the temperature and downward arrow to reduce the temperature. 5. The temp. Sensor will maintain the set temp. During use of water bath. 6. Switch off the instrument mains and main power supply after use. Safety while using water bath. Do not add too much water, so as not to overflow during water is boiling. After using the water bath. You should drain away water in time, clean the working chamber, so as to extend lifespan of instrument. Instructions for using water bath. Glowing of red lamp indicate mains on and glowing of yellow lamp indicate heater on. 1. Always ensure platform and surrounding are dry. 2. Use only purified water to fill water bath. 3. Always. Switch off the mains on completion of water bath use. 4. Do not disturb the capillary, temp sensor, located near the heater. Maintenance of water bath. 
be it the older analog or digital version, will require routine preventative maintenance from time to time. One of the things to always consider is filling the pan must always be done using water only. Distilled or deionized water will work best, as tap water often has minerals that can build up over time, and make cleaning more difficult. It's important to never use anything but, water in the pan, as other materials when heated, can create hazardous fumes and or cause a fire danger when heated. When the pan is removed for cleaning, ensure the unit is unplugged. Wipe any debris off of the seal, and avoid spilling water into the unit to avoid damage, to electrical components. Use only a damp cloth with mild detergents, avoiding any corrosive cleaning agents. That's all for now. For more updates please do like, share, and subscribe. See you in next video. Thank you.